So Steve's called me out here today, telling me I need to come down and see him straight away. He's got some new car. I'm out in the rain, freezing my ass off, and hopefully rocks up sometime soon, because I'm literally freezing to death. What is that? This is intake, and this is my WRX. Hey, hey, hey. What do you mean this is intake and this is my WRX? There this is an Outback. This is an Outback. And what is this? Well, WRX is an Outback, it's pretty much the same thing. This is a uh, four wheel drive. It's got a wide body kit, and it's more of a sports car than a BRZ or Toyota GT86, whatever they're called. It's got no turbo. Nope. It's a wagon. The Subarus make um, WRX wagons. It's not a WRX, mate. It's pretty much the same thing. And what makes it better than my car? Well, it's got more power by what? like two kilowatts. All right, it's got more power. It's got some space to put your kids and your dog. Y you told me you were getting a sports car. It is a sports car. A soccer mum car? Well, you could go to sports in it, yeah. What if it was a better sports car than the BRZ? Because I reckon I could make it a better sports car than your car. I for mean, like one tenth of the price. For two grand? We're going to make this thing better than this thing. Including the purchase of the car. How much did you pay for the car? 600 bucks. You paid, you paid 600 bucks for this thing? Yeah, it's a bargain. What's wrong with it? Absolutely nothing. Oh, it starts all right, I guess. What, what is that, Steve? That, it's only just a braking period. That, it's done 366,000 k. <laughs> That's like to the moon. You're taking it to the moon. And you think this thing can beat that? Yep. All right then. And I might need a few beers. This is intake. This is Operation Sports Wagon. What is Operation Sports Wagon, you might ask? Grab a beer, kick your feet up, and we'll tell you. Oh, so good. I can't believe you don't like these things. They're so nice. Really refreshing. I don't not like these things. I just you want have a beer? An hour drive home. Got me with the technicality. So, what is Operation Sports Wagon? I'm going to turn that Subaru Outback into a competitor for the Nix BRZ. GT86? GT86, it's a, it's a Subaru. And we're gonna do it for $2,000. So we've got a list of things that we wanna put onto the Subaru to make it a red hot goer. And you wanna take notes? Number one, we're gonna tidy up the car. Uh, then after we tidy it up, we're gonna give it a bit of a service, thanks to Nulon who have provided uh, all the oils and lubricants and some flushes and some coolant and things like that, Nulon Australia. Uh, make a great product that we have always paid for in the past and they were happy to provide us some gear for this project. After that, we're going to put some wheels on there, some WRX brakes, WRX seats, an exhaust, some strut bracing. Um, that should pretty much get us going to make us competitive with Nick, especially because he's not a very good driver. So we won't need much power at all. I'm better. No, no. Why did you why did you write on the fridge? A list. You said make a list. I need seats. Seats? English isn't my fault. Exhaust? Oh, exhaust. Uh, AU? <laughs> Falcon AU? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, we need some strut bracing and coilovers, some uh, some handling mods. B 
BR. Oh, you started. You can't finish now. Uh, A C E. Are you sure? Yeah, well, I know how to spell Ace because that's what I am. Yeah. Clovers. That's good. Right there. What else? What else do we need on this? I don't know. You think it can beat my car? I don't think that's going to be enough for you to beat my car, mate. All right, t well, tidy up's pretty much going to make your your this beating your car anyway. Like, it's just this shit. Hey, we'll see. Service, just to clean it all out. And the wheels are going to be there to fit the brakes behind them. Seats to hold your butt in place. Exhaust for that box of noise. And because it's a H6 box, that's just going to sound like a mad Porsche anyway. Pretty much. It's I mean, like no, it's, flat it's six. It's not the same. Just because it's a flat six. It's a Porsche WRX. No. Yes, it is. It's not. It's neither. Porsche it RX. a Subaru Outback soccer mum car. It is. You know what it is? It's a 911 WRX. It's not. We're not calling this 911 WRX. It's it six letters that fits on a number plate. 911 WRX. Turbo. But it's not turbo. It's not You know why it's not turbo? Because it's a three litre H6. There's no replacement for displacement. $2,000. Well, the servicing was free. Servicing was free. But we don't have to mark that down. That's it. That's it. Thank you, New Line Australia. So we got heaps of money to play with. We can get WRX seats, WRX brakes, T and coilovers, an exhaust for $1,150. <laughs> How's your math going there? That's good math. Uh, $1,120. Yeah, we can do it. Alright. We can do it. You say so, let's do it. I'll tell you what, if some other YouTubers can build shit on a budget, I can do it too. You need to put a beer tally on that too. Today we're going to tidy it up and swap the wheels over. It's going to be like a three beer job. Beers. It's like my shopping list. Beers. That is it. I'm going to mark a beer every time you drink a beer. So how much did the car cost? 600 bucks. So how much are the wheels? 250. Well, I got some stuff for the tidy up thing. I spent like 30 bucks at the wreckers. Ain't nothing to do with the bit to do it. We're not here to fuck spiders. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do to start this project off is swap the grill out because this one's old and busted. This one's old and not busted. But this one looks heaps sportier anyway, I think. What's wrong with the old one? Well, this one's sportier. How is that sportier? Well, it's got more speed holes. All right, mate. Anyway, I like the look of these heaps better, so I'm going to bang it on there. And while I'm doing that, Whatever. Hey, can you use that that rod thing? Wait, you can't use the no. rod, rod thing. Yeah. Get Damn. In, in, right. Just basically, I'm just going to do the opposite of what's on this one, and undo that, and yeah, it should just go straight in anyway. So I got this grill from the Wreckers Breaking Yard, I think they call them overseas. Junkyard, junkyard. Um, it was like. 30 bucks. Oh, it's like 20, 20 bucks or something. I know that they're a bit more than that on the interweb. Does that, you, does that fit? No. There's the other one. There's another one there. There's another one there? Yeah. So pretty easy. You just got to undo the nuts up here. Nuts! I love that. Never gets old at all. Anyone who thinks otherwise is wrong. Um, this is heaps better than Project Z, which by the way is not finished. But none of these are rusty. So, well done Subaru. The, the nuts and bolts might be better, but the car is nowhere near as better as Project Z. Um, well, I'll tell you what, I love these things. Truth be told, I've actually had another out back in the past. They are dead set, the best car in the world. The last one was five speed. This one's an auto. I don't know if you've seen inside yet, but um, the auto's a bit, how you going? Can we get some flappy pedals? Can you do that on these? No. Because that'd be like a supercar, like a Porsche. The flappy pedals in Porsche. Yeah, Porsche. It is a Porsche. It's a Porsche. I mean, does it's a Porsche WRX STI RUF. Does a Porsche 911 WRX have a massive hole in the front bumper, which I've just noticed that this thing has? Previous owner hit a kangaroo. Like an actual kangaroo. Dead set hit a kangaroo. So if you're overseas and you don't know what it's like to hit a kangaroo, they usually do a fuckload more damage than this. So this car got off pretty lightly. We've got some um, clear side indicators to get rid of the orange ones that this comes with. Right, for some reason Steve wants clear indicators. Because they look sportier. But they're not going to make it any faster. Yeah, it so. does. The orange um, pigment weighs more. Weighs more. Yeah, because like 
There's no pigment in the plastic there, so they're, they're lighter. I'm just going to do it. because Just fucking do it. Thing. Just do All it. Right. Real easy to get out. You just slide forward and then like twist it out in two second job. He says that and drops it. You know what I sort of need to do? Unplug it. While we're, while we're working on Subarus, I sort of, sort of need to vape. I feel the urge of vaping coming on. You are an idiot. Push it back in. That was really satisfying, actually. Two second job, easy. So you just got all the bolts out, I think. That's how you piss off a grill from a Subaru Outback WRX Porsche. So you're telling me everything will fit in this? Everything will bolt straight into it. I don't have to fuck around with adapter plates, nothing. Brakes, straight on. Seats, straight in. Engine? Well, the head gaskets are replaceable, I know that much. Take the rod off. Oh, I don't. That's the wrong size. Silly sausage. Watching you is painful for me. Why is that? You know, it can't be that painful because 4,000 people watch me. 100,000 people don't want to watch you. That's what the comments tell me. In the comments say I look like Ryan Reynolds. Fucking the comments are delusion. The comments say you swear too much. The comments are delusion. I am trying to cut down on swearing. Now, as always, uh, you know what's going to happen here? It's going to be something to do with fitting his opposite. Talking to spec. Oh. You were wrong. I thought it was going to be installation is opposite of reverse. Oh. That's what you should have said. I was going to, but you said it, so I didn't want you to be right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so sporty. I'm not going to say it looks bad. I'm going to say that that one looks better than the other. Steve says we've got some new tyres, new wheels and tyres for this. Uh, he said we only paid 250 bucks for them, so I'm guessing the tyres are either bald or the wheels are all buckled in shit. And, I mean... Wait, these not are actually decent. Like, that's good tread. Mm. And they're Kumos. Not bald, not shit. No, they're actually half decent. I'm proud. This Thanks, is, mate. This is good. They yeah. have a couple of marks on them. Not that one. Another one? Yep. I mean, marks aren't that bad. Sweet, let's get them on. So it looks like. How many beers do you reckon this is going to take? I mean, you can have one beer and I'll get them all on. I like this job. Oh, yeah, why are you drinking that beer? Where is your shit, little Jack, so I can get this thing up? Yeah. Wait, it's, it's grown a little bit. Happy birthday to me. That if I get my pants dirty, that the dirt will just be camouflaged. I thought you weren't wearing any pants. I You'd like you, that, wouldn't you? I thought you were just floating in the air. You would like that. This is just far too bloody long. We piss this off. Hmm. Struggle straight. Right. Put that in there. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Yep, that's on the jacking point. We should polish these nuts. I reckon they could be good at polishing nuts. I don't even know why I'm here. Because I couldn't do it without you. <laughs> it's not going to get this. Is back. that going up? It's never going to get the back off the ground. It will. They're both off the ground. Right. This is like a pit crew at the F1. I think. No, it's like a pit crew at Le Mans no. working on a Porsche. No, it's not. If anything, it's more like a NASCAR because we jacked up one side. If anything, it's more like a WRX in rally doing like some mad half airies over a dirt jump. Why is it a half airy? Because the other side's on the ground. Oh. Made in Korea. Kumos? Yeah, Kumos are Korean. That's why I start with a K. But they're like the good career, not the shit career. Careful, that shit career. Yeah, out, they're just outside and inside. Right. Okay. As long as all the tires are the same. Yeah. I'm gonna get wet here then. I'm gonna get wet on the ground. I should have checked that they're pumped up. Well, you can do that when they're on the car, can't you? No, I guess so, but what if they're really flat and we go put them on the car, we can't go down a straight?
You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna win this challenge thing in my shitty car. You're not winning. Real butt hurt when I win. You're not gonna win a challenge. I'm definitely gonna win a challenge. My car already looks more sporty than you. Than yours. You just, my car already looks more sporty than yours. You just don't like it because my car's like newer. Well, think about it. Sure. Does your car look like it's doing jumps? That's not a good thing, Steve. It's not an added bonus to have a look like a car of doing jumps. You know what's the best thing? It's like you're helping me build a car to beat you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have no problem with that. Wait, don't you already have yours? What do you need mine for? No, because I was using an Imperial one. It's just to nip them up that was close to the same size. That was... How good is this? You just you turn it. I know, I just turn it, mate. Oh, it's really nice. Fuck, you're just over-tightening the fuck out of them, mate. Oh, I don't want them to come off. You've seen intake before, you'll know that the driver's side is always the same as the opposite side. Leather, rinse and repeat. Always repeat. Upsy daisy. This is a real good jack. This is a better than the old jack. I mean, the old Kmart jack. Yeah, the old jack was... Very it did bad. its job though. I mean, I guess some people would say it did its job. Well, let's get the on that jacket, mate. Just get that back off the ground as well. And they have a gun here. I actually feel yeah, like good enough, mate. Yeah. a bit of satisfaction jacking that up. We need better brakes so that we stop better. So that we can beat. A, uh, oh, yeah. a BRZ, yeah? Yeah. Wanna, gotta be able to beat it. Can't go through all this and not beat it. <laughs> all this, swapping some wheels over. <laughs> you know what? I mean, I wrote a list. That is, I don't write things, Stephen. Just like that, we've swapped over the wheels. An Operation Sports Wagon. They look heaps sportier. And it's still a wagon. Lavorg. The Lavorg. Yeah, what about it? Is a Subaru WRX wagon that's not a WRX. Yeah, but there so we... it's a Subaru wagon and it's a WRX, but it's not called WRX. Therefore, this is a Subaru wagon that's a WRX, but not called a WRX. Yeah, but Lavorgs are really cool and fast and cool. But have Outbacks are really cool. Wait, have you seen that photo with the Outback? Towing another Outback, Outback of an Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I haven't seen it. So good. That beer looks cool. This is my second beer. Within the second beer. So what we need to do, do a bit of weight saving, because this apparently has 50-50, uh, what you say in your uh, 86? Weight no, distribution, because it's 50% better than your car. We need to fuck off the cage at the back to equalise that 50-50 distribution weight bullshit. So we're just getting rid of the cage, that's all. Yeah, yeah, well, just, that's, that's just all I said. Of, let's just get rid of the cage. Right, what we're going to do is take the cage out the back because it's not required. Take that. What is this? It's just in case I've got a blown head gasket because of the Subaru. But it's a sports wagon. Sports cars can blow head gaskets. Good ones. <laughs> do your side. It's like a condom, isn't it? It just stretches over the shaft. If you want to buy a cage for your Subaru Legacy, Liberty or Outback, there's one for sale. Yeah, we should make something. What are you going to make with it? I don't know. I have an old motorbike at home that we could pull apart and make a go-kart. Make it a miniature Subaru Outback. The suspension, this is fucked. So we've pulled out the uh, cargo barrier cage. And You've lost a lot of weight there, so I'm impressed. Thank you, I have been dieting. Not you, Nicole. No, I haven't really been dieting. I'm a fat fuck. Right. Well, you've got a big head. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, we've pulled the cage out, so we can probably sell that and sell the wheels. Wait, what do you mean sell that and sell the wheels? Well, I don't need them. Like, I've got wheels on the car, like, yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. need uh, factory wheels. So what are you doing with the money when you sell it? I'll probably buy some beers. Oh, hang on. I will put it back into the total of the car, which gives us, what, like, I don't know, 35 bucks in total, because no one's going to want to buy those wheels in that cage. I mean, I don't like that. You're getting $35 closer to my car. 
Nah, yeah, I'm just kidding. We'll be fine. We'll do it. We're gonna smash it anyway. You know what we've missed out on? What? We have to put an intake sticker on this. Oh, yeah, we'll do that later. Cargo blind, because the only thing that's blind inside of a car should be this, not the driver. Hmm. Now it looks, tell you what, as far as a sports car goes, it's really unsuspecting. No one's gonna know that this is a WRX Porsche 911 turbo. But everyone's gonna know what it really is, a uh, Subaru Outback. No, because I took the badge off. A Subaru wagon. It's a race car, you need racing goggles. Where do you store your racing goggles, you may ask? Beep. That goes on the roof, you can put your racing goggles there, and your little racing gloves there. All right, we're gonna finish this? No, no, no. No, no, no I was going to say we're going to finish this with one more thing. Oh, we're going to finish this one? Oh, you're, you're saying that. Yeah, we're going to finish this with one more thing. Steve wants a place to put his racing goggles when he's attempting to beat me in his slow wagon. So we're going to put in like a, a... We're installing a sunglasses holder because yeah. I really want to. Yeah. Cool. Do you have a place to put that bit? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's got a sweet cup holder. But... Oh. Oh. So good. Are you going to try and sell this as well? No, it's not worth anything. But if anyone wants it, I'll autograph it and send it to you with a picture of my bum. <laughs> undo that. And undo that. How good is that? This is super easy. There's no roof there, nothing can go wrong. I just got this one struck. Alright, see if that plugs in. I'm just going to mark around the first area that we've got to cut, which is that plug. Pull it down. Oh, this is the hard part. I love those braking noises. So you just mark on the inside there. You can do the other side. Up against that black thing. Yeah. What you want to do is just cut out as little as possible to begin with. Oh, yeah. If you fuck it up, you fuck up your roof. Why do I always lose this? Where did I just put that? Oh, this is so violent. You know what's the best thing about this project? What? Anyone can do it to any car. You know what this is out of? What? A Subaru. Gangster. We're stripping wires now. Because so Steve can solder. Right, blue to blue. Do you just want to put your hand under there to catch anything that drops? No. I don't want to drop it on my center console. <laughs> then don't be shit. Fuck, if this car had a smoke detector. <laughs> oh, you got to put the windows up and you can get out and it'll be vaping. <laughs> oh, yes, it would be, but it's sweet. True, you've got like a sparkle inside. Maybe, maybe that's what's happening. Maybe all Subaru owners are actually soldering. just soldering. We have solved it. You have, we have solved There's it. There's no such thing as a vaping crisis amongst Subarus. Heat shrink goes on there. I just use my, some people like to use a lighter. It's unnecessary, you don't need to use a lighter. Do you use a lighter or do you solder right in iron? That's good. Well, unfortunately, I use a gas. They are shit. Butane ones. People love them. I, ha I have one. I spent like a hundred bucks on one. It was terrible. Alright. No, it's just gonna be shrunk. Oh fuck, wouldn't it be funny if it didn't work? Where's the cover? Oh, it's up on the dash because we need to put some screws in. Oh, cool. Hey, look, we have light now. We can see what we're doing. So what you gotta do is you just stuff the top the sides, the two sides with the tail. See how it's nice and flat, bulking down? So when you put that up in there, just drop that screw. It pushes down towards to meet. There we go. <laughs> and just like that, we've installed this uh, sunglass. Oh, hang on. Yeah. That thing. What the fuck was that? 
Something's just fell in the car. Does it go that way? That scared the shit out of me. It's a bit of wood. Is it okay? Yeah, I think so. Looks fine. The wood looks fine, I mean. Where the fuck does that go? Holy shit, I can't believe it didn't do any damage. That's amazing. It didn't damage anything? It didn't damage anything. That's good. You don't want to damage the sports. Wait, how the fuck does this go in? Have we even got the right thing? No, that was out of the old one, wasn't it? No, the old one's got it in there. Fucking ram it in, man. Where's that way for sure? Absolutely. In. And thing? just like that, <laughs> we've installed this thing. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's cool. Tell me that's not cool. Hey, you don't know what you're doing. It's really cool when we're racing and that falls off. It's not going to fall off because we did it right. The best way to finish off our tidy up is to uh, slap on one of our stickers. Ooh, good idea. Steve. So, that's two things on our list done now. We've finished up the tidy up and we have put the wheels on, which for a set of cheap wheels, they, pretty, they look pretty good, so we're doing well there. You know what looks fucking awesome? What? These decals. Which is why I apply them to my vehicle. And you can do the same at home. We ship them anywhere in the world. Except for Syria. No better way to cap off anything than with an intake branded something or other. And the best kind of intake branded something or other is a t-shirt. And we're going to give away one of our intake branded t-shirts to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is show us a photo of your intake decal on your car and tag two of your mates on Facebook. Our Facebook page is below. And we're going to give away a free uh, t-shirt and what? Maybe a sticker pack? Give yep. away some stickers? Fuck it, we'll give away some more stickers. We've got a new one coming out. Talk to spec. And uh, that'll be for sale soon. So get tagging, upload your photos, share those below. Hit subscribe, hit like, comment. That'll be the first intake t-shirt as well. Oh, well, apart from the one I got. Apart, apart from the one. That Nick doesn't even have an I don't intake. Even have one. You're going to get one before me. So He's going to get like a Robin t shirt. Put him on something cool. Like, because Robin's like the sidekick to Batman, and yeah. I'm like, I'm, ba I'm Batman. You're like a shit Batman, like a Ben Affleck Batman. Oh, at least you didn't say George Clooney Batman. That would be the worst. <laughs> I'm not George Clooney Batman. <laughs> Alright, so what's up next for what? Operation Sports Wagon? Next episode on Operation Sports Wagon. That is no, fun. We're not. That's fun yeah, to we're say. Not doing That's that. fun to say. We are going to service the wagon. New Orleans provided us everything we need except for, for some filters. Well, let's pick up some filters. To service Operation, ooh, Operation Sports Wagon to make that more efficient, more powerful, more boxier, more Porsche like WRX. Not, not Porsche like. Porsche WRX, what like, than the BRZ. So, next episode on Operation Sports Wagon, service time. Keep hitting that. What a stupid idiot. Stop hitting your own car. Stop hitting yourself. Boy, this is what to do. Good thing I didn't have my like ring on. That would have hurt. How's your tooth? I mean, how's your hand? He bit me. He bit my finger. Charlie bit my finger. Charlie bit me.